in this video i'm talking red stars i am talking the recent polygon article i'm talking this red star blitz and i'm offering a few different solutions to solve what is going on right now in the game with these red stars let's go smash it Hey, what's up, Ollie Valley Main X Valley Flying here? I am back. Welcome to the channel. And in this video, I finally have a chance to comment, and give my thoughts on these red stars and this latest update because I don't think this was anything anybody wanted. I don't think this was anything anybody was asking for. I don't think anyone was like, man, I'm going to stop playing because we don't have any red stars. But they rolled this out anyway. We gave our feedback. It was not positive. A lot of it based on this RNG. We have an update coming tomorrow on maintenance, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Probably about the Spider-Verse, but will they address these red stars? I don't know. And I do want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you guys think of these red stars? And what, and more productively, what is a way that we can fix this? What is a way that we can uh, be happy as a community playing this game? And, and allow Fox Next to still make some money because that's ultimately what they are making this game for is to make money. But I just see that as, as a total blatant cash grab. Uh, you, want, you want a strong character? Well, you got to spend money to just pull these red stars because when I was thinking about this initially, I was not happy about the RNG aspect. I was not happy that someone could gamble and have a much better character built up than me. Um, but I was, I was willing to accept the RNG, thinking that the upgrades would be similar to Stark Tech. Not huge increases, but a little bit here and there. But then when this thing came out, these increases were huge. Seven star upgrade is 75% increase in the stats. That is crazy high to be based totally on RNG, based totally on luck. Not on skill, not on how long you've been playing, but basing it on that. And it seems like they are uh, Fox Next focusing more on uh, finding ways to get money out of people without actually making stuff that's more fun for the community. Because I don't think these Red Stars adds more fun, but it does uh, give them way more chances to add more money to their pockets by upsetting some of the community not all but some of the community with this and um yeah it, it affects every single game mode now pve content not that bad i don't care about the rng i don't care about the huge power stuff pve content it is what it is it's you versus the game and the more advantage you have against the game the better it is but the two modes in particular that is affected by these red stars arena and blitz so let me talk about arena now in arena i have a bunch of whales Let, let's go look at the ranking right now let's see who is around me and these are oh we we've just changed our name red star riot kraken hunters i love it all right um and a lot of the alliances are changing their names to uh these red star alliances but i have a lot of whales in this alliance and let's just look at some of these teams big teams let's say uh this person right here had a big seven star black widow boom change the game rocket rocket would change the game huge huge damage dealer no way to compete with that let's just pick someone else at random let's uh let's go here I, i'm uh you know brotherhood team brotherhood team strong I'm, I'm gonna ignore that because they're still strong but imagine with one of those you get a juggernaut thing that guy's gonna do a lot of damage same thing with pyro or Magneto. Let's just choose another one at random. Let's say you get a seven-star Punisher. Ooh, that's going to be a tough team to beat. Or Iron Fist. It's going to be tough. Um, and not based on skill. Not based on how long you've been playing. Not based on money you've spent. Not based on the strategy that you've used building up your team. One lucky pull. And you're obliterating everybody. If that uh, is a seven-star on a good character. All right, let's move on to some Blitz. Now, Blitz is something that you get opponents, and your opponents are calculated based on your team's power. So what I've been trying to do is build the teams that I want so they're all around the same power level. Well, one 
Red Star Pull is a double-edged sword. That character gets stronger. But for Blitz, my whole strategy, my whole team is thrown off. The opponents I'm getting is thrown off. They're way more powerful than the rest of my team. They're, they're strong so that the character that got upgraded can handle them. But the rest of the team, not able to handle them because of that huge increase in power. Makes Blitz a lot tougher. Makes a lot of months that I spent planning this Blitz kind of go down the train if I get a bad um, Red Star pull. Maybe it's a good Red Star pull. They might be happy for it, but it's going to screw up that Blitz team. And those are the two main areas that are affected. So let's talk about some solutions. Obvious one right off the bat is to not make these available for PvE. Make this only affect PV or make not available for PvP. Make this only affect PvE content, which is when you're fighting the AI, the computer. When you are fighting the AI from somebody else's team, I don't think it's a good thing. I mean, maybe because Sino you know, is saying maybe these will normalize and maybe they will after a few months. But what right now? So I'm looking at one lucky pull and just totally change the game for them in a positive or a negative way, depending how you look at it. But if it's just for PVE content, it's always going to be in a positive way. Um, next issue or next 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 possible solution is to take out the RNG. Make it so that you could farm these things. This is kind of what Future Fight does. You get to select which Norn Stones you want for which class of character. And you could apply that to the red stars of that character. Or to the stars of that character. Make them from yellow stars to red character, red stars. I wouldn't mind that as well. That way we get to choose what we want for the characters that we want. And the RNG is taken out of this. There's still some RNG. Like there is for your normal farms. You might get zero. You might get eight shards per farm. But um, the RNG, the total randomness of who you could get is kind of taken out. I mean, as it stands right now, it's like trying to farm every single character you want from a premium orb. Could get that character. You get someone totally different. And there's no rhyme or reason to how you're basing the team other than the luck that you're getting by pulling these certain red stars. Uh not a fan of that. I'm not. I'm not a fan of gambling games. I'm. 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 I'm not a fan of those action games. I know a lot of people are. I like strategy games, and uh, this kind of takes some of the strategy out out of building your team, and I don't like that. What is another solution though for this? Well, a little more complicated one is one that I came up, and there's, there's a lot of others. So I, I do want to hear what your possible solutions are for this because I, I don't see a lot of value in just complaining. For the sake of complaining without adding a, some kind of solution. So what, what kind of solutions do you guys have? Here is something that I just thought of randomly. And uh, as I was thinking about this. And uh, it, it's kind of a complicated one. So kind of bear with me. But what if for instead of these red star fragments. You would get um, for the orbs. You would get red star fragments. And those could be used towards buying certain stars you could use it to buy a one star for a magneto you could use it to buy a one star for a black widow whoever you want now it's going to cost a little more for two a little more for three and you could buy still buy a bunch of these orbs maybe not take them out totally so fox next can still cater to the whales make money from that but if you buy let's say 10 and, and these numbers will have to be worked out but let's say you buy 10 orbs at a time well you should may, maybe be making guaranteed to get a five star pull Maybe you get 20 at a time, you get guaranteed at least a 6-star pull, and then 37-star uh, pull. That way, you could still farm these and use them who you want, but you would have to farm for a long time, but you could get lucky with a pull. I, I think that would be kind of a compromise to some of the players that want to be building, and then for the players that want to be gambling, and Fox Next can still make money from both of them. Uh, but there's probably a lot of other better solutions out there. So I want to hear from you guys. Let's move on to this Polygon article. They wrote a bad review about uh, Marvel Strike Force around the time that they had that $100 Kree orb. And then they did another article that it was getting better. And now it's back to uh, pay to win. Mobile gaming at its worst is what they're describing in Marvel Strike Force. So this just came out earlier today. Really good article talking about kind of how the game works. Kind of talking about some of the problems with these red stars. And what it's doing. Uh, and I, I, 
want to point to this. We're making changes that were a little tone deaf and blind to the perspectives of the players. And that's what I think these red stars are. Fox Next is looking at totally from the marketing aspect of this. This is a great way there for them to make money. But in my view, the way that they make the most money is creating a fun game that people enjoy. Because when I spend money, it's on a game that I enjoy not to gamble. I don't like spending money to gamble. But that's just me. All right, let me read this last paragraph, though, because I think it really sums it up and puts this into uh, light. Ultimately, the Red Star issue has left Marvel Strike Force community demoralized. Fox Next floated that idea far before its launch, and the community spoke out against it. I was one of the ones speaking out against it. One of the many speaking out against it, or ways that it could be changed to be more player-friendly. That was all ignored, though. And we got, a, we got a community update that said, we've heard your feedback for these red stars. We've taken it into account. And we're launching it the exact same way that we said. Yeah. Uh, red stars are in the game to the displeasure of the community. It's a conversation that goes just beyond that goes beyond just Marvel Strike Force and expands to the entire mobile ecosystem. When does a game stop being a game and start being a platform for micro for a microtransaction economy? How do you balance progression and profitability profitability in a free to play game? If the reception to Diablo Immortal was any sign. We haven't even started to figure out the answer to these questions from the look of the Marvel Strike Force community. Neither has Fox Next. And I couldn't have said it better myself, which is why I ended up reading this, because I like what they said. Now, I say that most people are against it. I did this poll when these first came out. I couldn't do a video because I was not here. But uh, I was expecting a lot of hate about these red stars. Not as much as I thought. 63% are kind of sharing the same view as I do. What the heck were the devs thinking? 25% indifferent. Now, I could be wrong, but my guess is that the people that are indifferent are not as serious about Arena and are not as serious about Blitz, so this does not affect them in a negative way. And I think it's probably, maybe, the same with the love them. Because if you are just focused on PvE content, these red stars are awesome. But when you start calculating how it affects PvP content and how this, uh, how rare a lot of this stuff is, uh, yeah, that's, that's where a lot of stuff could go wrong. And as you guys probably saw a little earlier when I was talking about Blitz, many of the top alliances in the game have changed their names. And even some of the non-top alliances in the game have changed their names to stand in solidarity against these red stars. There is, there is one here. I think it's a little sarcastic, though. Red Star, best update ever. XOXO. Anyway, uh, that is it. And I think that's kind of how this boils down. The more time you spend in this game, the more money you spend in the game, the worse off these Red Stars are and the worse off they feel. The less time you spend in the game, the less money you spend in the game, the better off they feel. And that's, that's kind of where I think some of the divide is coming from as well. Not just people that play PvE and PvP. But the time and money issue comes into effect a little bit. We got another double blitz. We've had this before. One, once or twice. Uh, both of them were for orbs, though. Not for orbs. Or, I guess, uh, premium orbs. They're both for premium orbs. Now they're for red star orbs as well. This uh, seems to be much more of an impactful uh, thing on the game. So, as you can see, my score is not super high. 13 minutes left, probably not even going to hit the milestones for these red orbs, or for the normal orbs. But it is what it is. I'm not a fan of uh, these overlapping blitzes using the same form of energy. I hope this is uh, not something that's always happening. Uh, I hope that they uh, use separate energy and have separate refreshes, because I think, if my memory is uh, remembering correctly, they had separate uh, charge uh, energy resets for both of them. But I could be remembering that wrong. But if they continue with this, I hope they use separate energy for each of these blitzes. I don't like having the recess to choose either or. Just seems kind of uh, kind of shady, you know. Every, everything that I've been seeing the past month or so seems like a big money grab from Fox Next, and I think a lot of the devs here are doing a good job, putting out a good game, making it fun, and 
there, there's some marketing people are, that are just taking it out. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. And smash on that like button. Can join the notification squad. There's a lot of uh, sales going on at Public right now. So make sure you check out the link down there. You could go and uh, check out some Valley Fine merch. There is a Bluestacks link. I'm not sure what's going on with the affiliate for it. So right now it's just a Bluestacks link. It's not an affiliate link. Uh, you guys can play that if you want, but it's not helping the channel. So uh, I know some of you guys are doing that just to help the channel. It doesn't really help the channel right now. Um, let's just help you guys out. Anyway, uh, that is it. I got one question for you. Fox next. Fox next, what you gonna do, brothers? When Valley find out all the Valley maniacs and the rest of the Strike Force community comes down on you. I will see you guys later. Valley Flyon, out.